I anticipate great things for the future of Mississippi. With a major solar manufacturing plant in Hattiesburg, president of Gulf States Renewable Energy Industries Association, Tucker Crawford, believes that now is a time to bring in a tax credit program that benefit the residents and the businesses. We're trying to uh, facilitate a program here in the State House and in the Senate uh, to mimic the one that we have in Louisiana. The one in Louisiana has been very successful. Uh, it's created uh, many, many jobs. Uh, it's, it's created a, an additional tax base. Uh, we're creating a foundation for the future for our industry, and we think that can translate here to Mississippi. Senior partner at Gulf South Strategies, Brian Trasher, hopes that the upcoming tax credit bill will pass in the next Mississippi legislative session and help consumers save money. The bill is going to create a uh, tax credit for people that want to purchase uh, solar systems for either their home or business. Um, the way it works is when the system's installed, you can apply for a tax credit through the state. Um, it, we're pushing for a 50% tax credit, which is what we have in Louisiana. Um, so 50% of the cost comes back in the form of a rebate or, or a tax credit. And then you also have the ability to apply for an additional 30% tax credit, which is a federal program, a program called 1608. So you actually get 80% of the cost of the system back in a tax credit. Vice President of Stion Solar Manufacturing Plan in Hattiesburg, Frank Yang, believes that not only will the renewable energy tax credit bill help the state, but will also increase the solar energy market, which will then increase jobs. One of the important things to remember is that for every solar manufacturing job, two additional jobs are created if the installation takes place here locally. So we really hope that the market will continue to grow, and we look forward to continuing working with our customers and partners here to do that. Vanessa Pacheco for 7 on your side.